And now we have a slug in our pocket. Generic greetings and welcome back to Satisfactory, where in the previous episode we landed on the planet and began our factory construction. We currently have a hub up to upgrade level 3. That means we have a half-built research area as well as a loo and also somewhere to sleep. We also have at the back of the uh, hub we have our configuration craft bench, which is uh, basically for making all of the materials and intermediary components. We have our upgrade terminal and finally we have a, a workshop over here which is equipment workshop to get things like portable miners and zero no zappers. Our main focus in this episode is getting this upgraded to level 4 and getting some more processes automated so at the moment we haven't got much automated in the um in the sense that we've only got a couple of things. Why is that? Oh, I was going to say, why is that not producing? And that is simply because it is full. So we will um, empty that. There we are. Yes, yeah, so we haven't got a lot of things automated like mining or, produ or production of things like the um, iron bars or plates. We need to sort that right out. And that is sliding along, apparently. <laughs> Maybe it's on a, ma a massive skateboard or something. Let's um, have a quick look when we go up here. <laughs> um, no, it is just gliding. Uh, early access game is early access. Right, okay. So I'm just going to head up here where we have the floating rocks and we're going to grab some of this here, which is our copper ore, and then we'll head back down. We should have enough material to build the majority of what we want, but, um, well, let's see if that statement is accurate in the next couple of minutes. So I'm going to gather some materials as I progress on down here. This is just some biomass because we're probably not running out, but certainly we want to gather as much as possible, and all this does grow back, I believe, anywhere, so it's not too much of a problem. There's also two beasties over there that I want to try and avoid as best as I can. At the moment we're only gathering just the uh, the grass that we pick up, we're not uh, chopping down any trees, but that will be possible at some point in the future. So we'll go over to here and we will take out the um, ore there, sorry, take out the uh, copper ingots and we will place in some more ore. I want to put my uh, sort of electrifying device in here, this is our defensive system and we then want to focus really on getting some automated building up so we need things like a constructor. So a constructor takes reinforced iron plate, um, Hang on. It, oh yes, reinforced iron plate and cables. So reinforced iron plate requires, as you can see, some screws and some plates. So let's go for more plates. We currently have a couple of plates. Let's make a total of, say, 30, and that should be okay. Now we're going to create some more rods, and the reason for that is you need the rods then to convert over to screws. And all of this is something that we will be automating in the future. That's the whole point. I'm just going to make some more of these. I want at least two. Um, two constructors. So that should be enough there. And there's three... And then six, there we go. So that should be enough for two of them. So we'll go to Q and then say Constructor. Now we're going to have to be very careful here because at the moment this is just going to be a st a basically a straight one-to-one. -one, but I want to put enough space in so that A, we can walk around uh, the areas and B, uh, probably to uh, curve it off. So remember, we've got like no real reason to bunch things in right together so I'll say that should be fine and then what we'll do is start using the belt so we'll say conveyor belt there and conveyor belt there which requires more stuff that I don't have so that's a simple matter of going and getting some more iron plates so there we go and this will be the first instance of us uh, generating some iron plates so we're going to go from there again so it is uh, three so we'll say there into there and then there to there and it doesn't matter where you place it it just um We'll automate that, and then, as you can see, it is now going. The belts don't have um, a direction as such. Uh, the direction is determined by where they're coming in and out of each of these buildings. So, we're going to change this over to uh, iron rod, and this one will be to plate. Now, the difference is, that's going to produce 15 a minute, and that's going to produce 15 a minute as well. So, we probably need to double up on the iron plates, because this is producing uh, 30 a minute. So, we actually need another constructor to produce some more of that, just to get the max throughput for this thing. So... We'll have to focus on that later on. So I'm going to pick up some of the ore here because this is probably running out. Good grief it is. Uh, let's put that in there. And that is uh, nowhere near. So I'm going to split that up into... Um, actually, I can't split it up into there. I think I have to take out half and then split the stack and then move the stack along like so. There we are. Okay, so 
Um, we've got that there, so we need to build conveyor belts to connect buildings together, yes, we've got that. Uh, buildings have inputs and outputs, yes. And over here, we've got our copper production, which is uh, going to make copper ingots. And then for the wires, we need to double check what the production time is for wires. So we can see that wire uh, production cost is, it says one actually, we need to probably create some more screws and then we'll probably just place another constructor anyway because, well, we can... Uh, there we go, there's some more screws. It does take a lot of screws to make this. Uh, I think we need more plates, actually. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then we'll finish off with the iron plates there. And um, I'm going to probably go up to here, actually, and uh, take out a lot of that because you can see they're already uh, going up to here. These aren't producing anything at the moment because we haven't got them working. Let's go over to Constructor and we'll place another Constructor and we'll say place it about there. Actually, I would if I had the cables, but I don't, so I can't. Uh, let's just go over to here. And we'll say more cables. We'll create a bunch of those and then we're just going to drop this down for now. We're not going to activate it yet just so we can get the uh, constructor sort of lined up about there. And then we'll set that at the moment, like I say, temporarily to wire. Now, wire you can produce 45 a minute, whereas this thing will produce 30 minutes. So actually, that is fine. So we'll be able to connect that directly in. So, I think we need to upgrade the hub first because we need access to a couple of things. We need access to storage and we need access to... Um, oh, we've got some walls there as well. And we need access to um, splitters, I think. But actually, that might be level... That might be a high level. But um, we'll see anyway. So, you can see how many iron plates we need and things like that. So, I'm just going to go up to that and I'm just going to pick it up. There's no reason not to. There we go, and I'm guessing that we won't have anywhere near the amount of uh, copper or anything else, so I'll just grab this again, grab that there, and we'll put this back in. So we'll split the stack. Where's the stack? It's quite difficult to see at times. Uh, there it is there, and then we'll put that in there, and then we'll put that in there, and that's going to automatically produce it. It can store a total of uh, 100 on the output without actually stopping production, so it's got an uh, internal storage of 100. Um, I mean, there's probably some sense in actually automating this up here, um, and we're going to do that as soon as possible. Just we don't have the we don't have the tier of hub there just yet. But um, what I might do, I might place another miner up here. The problem with that is I know that at the next, I think it's the next tier, we'll end up running out anyway. So I don't really see too much of a point. Um, but anyway, we'll see what we can do. Let's just jump down here and oh, this would be is this leg breaky time? It is. A bit of a crunch, yes. Not too much, not too bad. Um, so we'll gather that there. And we can uh, heal ourselves if we do so desire. We can have this alien fruit. and Mmm, tasty. That's a pale berry. And um, should also be called a heal berry. So, we've put all them together. I do want to wire these up, so I will place one of these power poles in. The problem that I'll have is that this probably won't function very well. Let's place a power pole. Oh, I can't place it there because I have none of the... Uh, I have none of the iron that I need to do that and, and the iron um, iron rods. We're picking up all of that should suffice so we'll go here and we'll say iron rod and we can create absolutely loads of it. Look at that we've got 200 odd that we can make so that's fine there and once those are placed we will place the uh, power pole down this time. So the power pole is going to go in between like so and then obviously we do need to connect it up. So there to there, there to there then that to over here and then it'll probably blow the power grid up. Let's have a quick look. It is not blowing the power grid up. You can see that our overall production and consumption is it's gone up but that's not why is that not working uh those are this is not working ah it is definitely not working because we have not got anything in it neither is that and uh this isn't either but if i put that in it should start production so there we go what i'll do is i'll connect that up to this however i think it might end up changing that one but let's just see and as i said the grid isn't really set up to take this sort of uh take this sort of load at the time so we'll see i'm going to create some more biomass here we've got loads of leaves on us and it's more compact so it just gives us a bit more room i also want to store that little um green power slug that we have there because quite frankly it's squelching around and i don't like the noise it's making right so that's placed in there so that should be able to power that up uh, in terms of the iron ore you can see this is now run uh, well this it's not run out it's now full i'm going to pick that up i'm actually going to uh, gather some more iron from here because this will give us i believe it's 60 is it 60 it's a fair bit anyway hmm Nowhere near 60, by the way. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea. Right, so we're going to go back over to here. We will uh, split up the stacks. Actually, we'll split it up like so. Um, and I just want to see if we blow the grid. 
so that's not blown up yet and doing that no it looks like it is powering it fine um, can we check the grid from here we can it is very close we are consuming 16 megawatts okay that is fine if we connect up this it will almost certainly not work uh, we can connect that up if we do so desire and oh yeah there we go so that has blown the grid up so um, yeah I'm gonna remove that power line and <laughs> we're gonna go back and uh, we need to restart the thing so we might I think we've went over the megawatt allowance there um, you can see we've blown probably past that so yeah we're currently on consuming 20 uh, producing 20 so any more is a no-no so speaking of production you can see we now have our automated constructors which are producing the plates and sadly they're not producing many of them because it does take quite a while so we definitely need another constructor for plates here and then a storage crate here so we need at least two at least two producing that um but bear in mind that we'll probably end up having a lot more than that in the future. Um, also, there is the ability to build upwards, which uh, we currently haven't done. But uh, we will probably do that eventually as well. So, if we're looking over on the right-hand side here, you can see that we require, uh, we require some more items. So, one of those items is concrete. So, we need to make some more of that. So, I'm going to create some cables and some wire and I'm gonna get an automated I'm gonna get one of these uh, portable miners up just the one for now and I'm gonna take it back here and I'm gonna dump it down so it's Q and there we go and that should start producing yes this is all impure so you're gonna get one of each is it impure all, all over the place it is so gathering this by hand is not ideal. Let's have another quick cheeky scan and it's gonna scan and we've got one right in front of us and 206 there, 300 odd there, uh, 215 there. Okay, fine. So basically whatever we do, it's, uh, it's either quite far away or not very pure, but we can manage that. So looking at the current hub upgrade level 4, we need tie in plates, 75, um, what are they called, rods, and then we need some cables as well, which we currently have 20 anyway, so let's put those in. So we'll put the rods in, put the plates in, we're going to put in the cables, and we'll put in that as well. So actually we're very, very close to... Uh, being complete here on that one. We'll do most of this manually there. You can see it also says we can produce more iron ingots because we've got some uh, some stuff on us. So I might go ahead and do that. Uh, let's actually just put these in, make sure these are producing because currently they ain't and that's not good. So we want to put in 100 in there. Actually, do we want to put 100 in there? Uh, I don't think it's strictly... No, I don't think it's fine. Uh, sorry, I do think it's fine. Uh, we should be alright there. That one is obviously not producing anything. We know about this. We haven't set it up to produce anything at the moment. Uh, let's just pick up some of this. Gives us some leaves and other things. So we'll go back. We'll dump in the rest of those iron rods, which is now complete. And we'll put some of those in there as well. We're just going to get rid of some of that stuff as well in our pockets. Uh, we'll keep that berry on us, but we will... Uh, that'll keep that wood. We just need to uh, place that back in our hand. Right, so it's just a case of producing some more plate. We're currently on 58 out of 100. So we'll produce all what we can here. And then once that's done, we uh, by the time that's uh, been completed and such and we've picked up from the other place, we should be all fine. Just going to go over to here again once more and we're going to split that stack and we'll put in the uh, the R4. Oh, looks like we've got loads of R. Uh, put it in the R4, the iron plates and the iron and we can't get past there. That's annoying. <laughs> that's exactly. I left the gap because that was uh, useful but um, sadly then put a power pole on it. Uh, that's got a decent amount there we are. Alright, so we should have very close to, if not enough now for that. Uh, no, it's just very close. We can see we need two more. Two more iron plates, which there's some, there's four. So this will get us now to hub upgrade four, which should be fantastic. So go over to that and then put that in there and then we'll upgrade the hub and we'll see that this changes and we should now get some research, I think. Oh no, we haven't got research yet. We've got new buildings and a player has been upgraded. So our storage. You have unlocked higher. feature, additional biomass generator. Mm -hmm. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Okay, so you can see we now have... Upgrade molecular analysis. No. Right. To ensure full mastery of 
So, we need to upgrade our hub to level 5. Um, this here now, you can see this uh, another biomass burner, that is now, um, well, it looks like it's actually burning it, but it doesn't. It only, um, it only supplies it and burns it if it's required. So we now have some automated miner mark 1s. So we can start now to produce uh, some of this stuff automatically. So let's pick up this thing here. We need iron rods and concrete. We're going to grab that. We're also going to uh, pick up the miner, and we are going to place this thing in here. So you can see it has an input now, but I'll put just like before. So we're going to place it a little bit of an angle there, and that's going to connect up, and we will then go from there with the iron all the way to there, which we can't because we don't have the iron plates. Luckily, we are now automating the production of that, which is what this game is about. So we can then now do that magically like so. Right, that is now not, well, it's not producing, but it will be eventually. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to get rid of that power line like so. I will place a power line, however, from that place over to there. So now this one at this side is producing um, the... It, it's got the automation side of it, so we should be able to um, probably build over here another power pole place a power pole uh, there I think and then we'll connect that up to there because you've only got four slots so you have to plan that ahead you see um, uh, why can we do that one there and one to there why does that not work oh because I don't have any cable at all okay let's run back and make some more of that assuming I've got the stuff for cables I do have loads of wire I have <laughs> an absolute boatload of wire and boatload is definitely a satisfactory measurement so, there's the cables for that. And we also need to make sure that we can build more of these miners, uh, which we can build more, more of, but we don't have enough concrete to get everything because I want to make a fair few of these automated miners. I at least want four by the time we finish this episode. I want two for iron, one for copper, and one for the... Uh, and one for the... Um, the stone over there. So let's build another power pole. And we're going to place the power pole in and around here. That should be fine. Then that power line connects up to there. Then that power line connects up to there. That should now be automating the uh, the drilling. As you can see, that's ooh, it's starting to go. It's starting to go. Don't get your hand in there. Ooh, yeah. That's um, that's now digging straight down, and we should be producing. And we're producing sixty a minute, and this is only making 30 a minute so we need to double up on that which is what we thought originally okay but at least that is producing so let's build a couple more of these let's build um well i'll tell you what let's build one i can't build one here because i don't have the automated miner what i'm gonna do because um we spend a lot of our time running up here i'm going to grab the portable miner from up there and then use that to build the automated miner and then we're going to bring it down and then over to here so it's going to be a fairly long belt but i think it would be worth it also grab a bit more biomass while we are here. Obviously at the moment we've only got two biomass generators but eventually that will change and we'll have some separate ones that are just not connected to the hub. At the moment the hub we've only got the uh, the two on there. You can have separate ones. You can also get coal power plants and I think in the long term they are looking at things like um, nuclear power and such but at the moment we don't have it. So we'll grab that and then pick that up. Then what we want to do is to produce a miner and the miner will be um, I don't think we can just blast it off the edge there. I don't think it would look very good either. So we'll place it there. What we're going to do as well is we'll place a power pole right on the edge. And then we'll place a power pole probably just down there. And hopefully we can connect that up. And it does connect up, yes. So we'll connect that up to there, that up to there. And this will now start producing once we connect it back up this. Speaking of that, we do need to start bringing this down. So we're going to bring it down at a fairly decent level. Um, I think what we'll have to do though is place... Place one of these, which is a conveyor pole. Um, where do I want to place that? Um, about there, maybe? Um, there to there? Yeah, that's fine. And then we need to go there and then all the way down, which I don't have the capability to do so because I've run out of iron plates. So let's just go down here. At least we can connect this up, so that's fine. Probably need, probably don't need another power pole, actually, but I don't like the, the big gap that you can get between the power poles doesn't seem to uh, fit right. Um, we'll also have to set upgrades for the hub, because um, we need to set that up there. So let's just go over to... Whoop, 
I'm gonna have to move that. That's 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 already gonna get moved. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Um, it'll just annoy me until <laughs> until a point where I just I'm, I'm, right. I'm done. I'm just remove it. Uh, this has got loads of wire in it. I'm guessing. Uh, no, it's just got no power. Uh, let me resolve that by connecting up the power like so. And there we are. That's now producing what we need, and it's not gonna blow the grid up because it's now on a separate line. So we need to produce, uh, actually we don't need to produce any more, but I do want to go on, oh, actually no, I think I need to make more concrete, don't I? We've got enough for concrete, so that's fine. Uh, we've also got loads of copper in our pocket, so we'll go ahead and place that in the uh, facility. I'm going to go up to this one in the middle, because we do have some iron on us, and we'll dump that in there. And then we'll go over to here, which is currently copper, and then we'll put it in there as well. And then we can uh, go from here, and I wonder how much it's, I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll put a power pole in there, and then I'll connect up, um, what's this currently on? Two or four. Well, I'll connect that to there because we need to. Then that'll connect over to there, and then that should technically be blowing the grid up. Okay, looks like that's not going to function either, so <laughs> this is going to be a problem. I don't think we have nowhere near enough power to run the factory on its, as its current sort of... Um, In the current setting, no, that's just gonna. Oh, it's just over. It's just over. Um, okay, we can probably do without for the time being. Anyway, we can probably do without the automated production of copper. I don't think we need um, that just yet. That's now producing. Okay, so we are now producing copper up there, and we need to bring that down, and then we'll see. We'll actually see. I think first, what we need to do is set. Actually, how are these producing? 30 a minute and 15 a minute. So we can actually have another one of these because this is producing 60 a minute, right? Yes, but how much does this take? Um, one iron ingot, it's one ore. Oh, right, okay, yeah, so that, I think the ratio is correct. Anyway. Upgrade level 5, select. So we need, whoa, <laughs> quite a bit of stuff. Uh, for that we need 500 copper cable, 30 concrete, 150 of each iron product for the time being. So we've got 18 there and 8 there. Wow, that's going to break the bank. Um, we have a fair few iron rods though, so that should be fine. And in terms of copper cable, we have, or copper wire rather, we have, y yes, <laughs> an unsightly amount of copper uh, just floating around in our pocket. So we should be able to pick everything up that we need. So we'll gather all of this and I'll go ahead and put that in in the uh, upgrade slot just so we get it done. Just so we know that that's forgotten about and we can leave that. I'm going to have to stop a sec because you see this is glowing red. That will eventually uh, overheat. So you don't want that. Not that it does anything other than just hisses and allows you to, uh, well, you have to stop for a second. Other than that, it doesn't do anything. All right, so we'll place that in there. We're going to create some more, obviously. Because we need uh, some more wire. Although we've got 31 wires, so it shouldn't require too much. We're just going to make a bit more there. There we are. So we'll, gra we'll go and grab some of the limestone just to make some more concrete because currently we have 35 of that but we do need 30 for the upgrade so we'll grab all of that 100 there and that'll give us a nice chunk um, and then we need to bring that down which requires copper plates so we should probably focus on that anyway we'll build more concrete I'll use all the, all of it that I can there you go and then what I'll do is put that there. So again, we know that that's now completed. Right, so with our copper plate in hand, let's bring down... Hey! You slidey little gate. Have you... Have you been damaging our... <laughs> have you been damaging our production up there? He's going to be sliding around. Now and again, it goes to an ice ring up there, so we have to watch out. Uh, we can see there's some beasties over on the left. I'm going to skirt around those. We don't want to be uh, tussling with those if it's... Uh, avoidable although to be fair you do need them for uh, research so maybe it would be prudent for us to do that anyway so we're gonna go there and we just want to make sure that it doesn't um, intrude on like the land so it doesn't look really dodgy uh, it looks like it's perfectly fine for the time being you can see I'm taking it around the inside of the mountain uh, for no reason other than I can uh, go around here um, to let's actually say there and then around here the corners, as far, the, the, corners, the corners, as far as I'm aware, 
do not matter in the slightest. Um, how do you want to bring this over here then? Um, I think probably this away. As with everything though, this stuff can change and probably will change. Um, you know what, I don't like that. I'm gonna gonna delete that and this bit here as well. When we get that stuff back. Back over the building. More direct this way, I think. Because it's going on the end anyway, isn't it? So, um, Almost certainly, as I mentioned, this will be changed because uh, we're going to have this mining and that mining. So, obviously, we'll have to, at the bare minimum, uh, move this over and have copper production probably over that side. But we've got enough ore, enough iron ore, rather, for the time being. Just going to collect this uh, pure iron ore bit here because we get a fair decent amount for really no effort. And also because we've got nothing going in here, it uh, would be advisable for us to do that. There we are. Right, so we do need some more plate. We've used most of our plate anyway on building that big line, but um, I think it was worth it getting all that over here. If for nothing else, I'm not gonna, I'm not even going to connect it up to this machine because I do think we're going to be shifting it along anyway. Um, obviously this doesn't produce anything because we haven't got it connected to the grid yet. Because I believe we're using about 19 megawatts. Let's have a quick look. We're using 13 megawatts. So, ah, oh, that's the that's the current uh, there you go. It goes up to 18. So the peak is 18 at the moment. So it's important to keep an eye on that. Uh, in terms of biomass, we are really chewing through it, actually. But uh, we've still got 150 plus on each machine, so it's not too much of a... It's definitely not a, um, it's definitely not a massive problem at the time. Time being, anyway. Uh, so let's go for picking up of that. We're going to jump over here, and we're going to pick up some of that. And then we'll see what we need for the upgrade. What else have we got, actually, by the way? Nothing in power, nothing in there, nothing around here. Uh, we now have a storage container, which is good. We probably want to build that, so I'm going to head and, going to go ahead and do that. And this is going to be our storage container for the iron plate. Not that we probably need it, you understand. Um, but I want to get at least some sort of storage in, which uh, we'll place it there. Because um, eventually we're going to have uh, more production. I've placed it the wrong way, haven't I? Okay, there you go. You can't pick stuff up and turn it around, but you do get the resources back. Um, so let's spin it around. And I'm going to put a little bit of an angle there. Actually, no, that should be fine. And there we go. And that's going to store those. We'll put another one down as well. Uh, can't tell if that's lined up or not. There we go. And that's now going to take all of these and then store them in this machine. It just means that we can easily pick them up. And if for whatever reason we have to be away from the factory for too long, this won't back up because it can only store 100. Unlike this, when I'm guessing is currently backed up with loads. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to pick that up and... Uh, Dump it all in there, because I can. <laughs> Speaking of dumping it all in there, um, I'm going to um, probably go and press E on all of this. The problem is that running along the belt and picking stuff up is certainly not as easy as it is with um, other factory building games that may be called Factorio. Uh, <laughs> we're going to skirt around the issue, but why not? Why, why should we even bother? Um, actually, that's, got, that's not got no... Ah, it's got no power, right, of course, because we removed that one. Uh, so it won't really matter what we do there. Okay, so we'll have a double check at this place here. That is producing our... Yeah, that's producing our copper there. We're going to take that. And we're going to take whatever's in here. And... Basically, we need more smelting. That's what it comes down to. We need at least, at the moment anyway, the to get maximum throughput with the iron plates to, for, to going on this storage we need one more constructor and actually just one more constructor isn't it? No, no. Or is it a forge? 30... 15. Okay, another forge. Oh, okay, it's going to take some more. It's going to take some more. Anyway, uh, we'll go up to our hub upgrading here and we can see we've got now all of the resources that we need for 
upgrade five apart from the plates which you now have 35 so what i'm gonna do is gonna have a little recce let's have a little run around while the factory uh, cracks on um, i'm gonna collect some biomass as well because i think that would be a decent idea while i'm out and about uh, we might encounter some beasties or all sorts of things but let's just collect some of this stuff here and We'll collect some berries, and if we see any slugs as well, we're going to pick those up too. Now, there's some weird, uh, like, groves over here, and um, I thought it'd be thought it'd be a nice thing to go and have a look in it. And also, we'll get a nice overview. There's also some weird floaty things over there, and I really don't... I really hope they're not um, <laughs> aggressive in any way. There's only one way to find out. Looks like this area's got the uh, one of those creatures in again. This one is, however, walking, which is good. Let's see. Let's see if we can see our factory from here, actually. Uh, we can. Yeah, we can. It's uh, over there. It's actually quite far far away. It's actually quite... <laughs> didn't realise just how big the map is. It's very large. Okay. Uh, I wonder where the hard border is of it. I don't really know. Um, I'm also looking around for any potential interesting areas. Whoa. They almost fell down there. Some more berries. And is this like a cave system? It's not a cave system. Would be nice if it was. Okay. There are some reasons to explore and points to uh, find. There's like a... There's like a dog somewhere around the place, I believe. The one that you see on the trailer. And I know it's on this map. Because you could find it in the... In the alpha. And... That was, well, this was the only map in there. What's that? Raw Quartz? Okay, that's something I can't remember ever finding. Certainly we haven't played it in, uh, found it in this uh, playthrough, so I wonder what we use that for. That'll be um, fun finding out. So I think we will... Um, oh, do we have a look over there? I think we will probably leave it for now. Oh, what's that? Is that iron? Uh, it looks like an iron. <laughs> doesn't look like a iron. It looks like some iron. Uh, it doesn't ping to say what it is. I believe that's iron. I think that's iron. I'm sure it's iron. Yes, it is iron. And that's a beastie. Oh, okay. Give that a little cheeky hit as it tries to go past. And there you go. We've got a carapace. They tend to hang around around these parts. So we've got... Wow, look at this. One. We've got one, two. Yeah, one, two, three... Four. Yeah, well, it's going to try and run around. You have to cut it off, you see. Um, and electrocute it in the face. Yes, it seems to be like a fairly decent uh, amount of resources around here. And what's that? Some weird pod. We'll pick that up. And probably figure out what it is by eating it, which is obviously exactly what you do on an alien planet. <laughs> um, there's another beastie over there, so I think we will... Oh, what's this? More pure iron, pure iron ore. So we'll ignore that. I think there's more iron ore over here as well. Um, scan for that. Yeah, just up here. So extremely plentiful, which is good. Um, I, I don't know if the resources of iron and other things like that run out. I assume, perhaps wrongly, that they do. But... Uh, because otherwise, with, say, the three that we've got, there'd be very little reason to move on. But, as I said, I just do not know. Oh, look at that. There's our... Are we going to get a good view from up here? I think we might do, might we? Oh, there's also a slug here. Might as well collect a green power slug while we're here. And there we go. Right, so that is where we've got so far with our factory. And I think we've done quite well. Um, We'll leave it there. Next episode, we will go ahead and, well progress on I guess I think we need to get some certainly the focus is to get the hub upgrade level 5 because that gives us uh, some um, extra power generation which we certainly need at this point because at the moment we just can't run everything and um, it's sort of maxed out so uh, yeah we will see next episode how we get on hope you have enjoyed the video and the series as far as always comments in the comments and uh, obviously that can change what we do etc hopefully we can uh, get this thing 
a bit more automated and certainly uh, do some load balancing. But for the time being, for how much we've got, how, what, what, what we've got so far, I think um, we're doing all right. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.